What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. It is finally bright and sunny here in Texas. The rain has stopped for a little bit anyways. And it's time to start this video series called Will It Solar? If you haven't uh, heard me talking about it in some of these other videos, this is an idea that I got from a YouTube channel that my son watches called Good Mythical Morning. Um, and also from like the Blendtec uh, videos where they put all kinds of crazy things in a blender and try to blend it up. So the idea here is we're going to try to power various things with a with a solar panel <clears throat> so that you can kind of see real world what a solar panel can do. Now the first uh, video here, these are all going to be two or three minute videos typically, very short, sweet and to the point. Now this one I'm going into a little backstory first, but so it'll be a little bit longer. But <clears throat> anyway, uh, we'll do we'll test out one or two things in each episode and they'll uh and then we'll see if a typical solar panel can power it now this i have this 100 watt solar panel it's a grape solar panel i, I did a review video on it if you want to check that out but so we're going to see what a 100 watt solar panel can actually power and then uh, if it's a success uh, if this this video series takes off then i may try some other size panels and some other loads but Anyway, we've got a 100 watt solar panel here, and it's about 1 o'clock, so the sun is pretty much directly above, so that should be negligible. And we've got our leads coming out. Um, that one's the positive, this is the negative. And uh, I picked a load, this is a 12 volt load. Um, it's a just a simple halogen bulb, and uh, actually incandescent, sorry. and. Uh, so, but, but it is a 12 volt low voltage bulb, bulb meant for uh, landscape lighting or something like that. So we're going to, I'm going to show you that the solar panel can directly power a 12 volt load. Some of you have asked me that in the past. So I'm going to make this, finish making this connection and you'll see that the bulb will light up. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this, this panel is a 12 volt panel at 100 watts, and so it will directly power any 12 volt load that you have available. For informational purposes, this bulb is a 25 watt bulb, so it's not, it's obviously not taxing the panel. But let's see what happens when we, when we shade the panel. If the panel were to go, if the sun were to go behind a, a cloud or something like that, we'll, we'll check out what happens to the. To the light. Now this may seem pretty self-explanatory to everyone, um, but you'd be surprised at the, the questions that I get about directly powering devices off of the solar panel. And the reason why I don't recommend it is because there's nothing storing the power. If there's, if there's no power coming in through the solar panel, your load will go off. So it's hard to tell in the sunlight, but that is almost out, almost completely out. And all I've got is just something halfway shading the panel. We're still in direct, direct sunlight here. And all I've got is something halfway shading the panel. That could be a tree, that could be anything like that. And basically, you don't even produce 25 watts anymore. So I hope that answers some, some questions people have about directly powering loads and why I don't recommend doing it that way or direct, going direct from your solar panel to your inverter. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We'll look for part two later on in the week.